so excited. We are going to be creating a eyeshadow look, my look. I am not a makeup artist. We all know that. But I do love simple, natural eyeshadow looks. So I have a bare face ready. I've been using that there, my good molecules. It's been exactly 15 days and it's only goodness. So I am going to start this with my Huda Mint Pastel for St. Patrick's. Nice. Starting off with the Wilma Schumann European Skincare Hydrating Collagen Eye Patches. Now, when it comes to eyeshadow looks, I do love to use the eye patches that are a little bit more drier, uh, that sinks into my under eye. Instead of having the wet ones, I normally do use those hydro gel at night. But at this point, because we don't want to have anything around my face dripping or sliding, I do like to use a comfortable eye patch. These are really good, and this has collagen, so it's a lifting. So this is a little bit more of a settled serum uh, essence. So hopefully this does not slide. I do not want anything sliding, but this does help me focus on my eyeshadow look. Just because, you know, I'm not a professional, so I do want to have a nice grip and not go all over the place and, you know, eyeshadow fallout and all that. So I think I did this backwards, I believe. This happens. This is so nice and delicate. And it does. It does just stay there. So let's just hope it stays. So right now I'm going to start with my base. And I'm going to try my best to stick with this palette. How beautiful is this? Who has this palette? Who's enjoying it? Who loves Huda? Because you know there's a collection back there I'm all about. Um, I think I could stick with this. I think I can. If not, I'm going to go to another eyeshadow palette that I do have that has a deeper green. I don't know. Let me go get so it. I'm going to prep my lips with this Lip Savior Love Yourself because you know I'm all about that. It is so windy here in New York. How is it over there where you girls are? Let me know where you are at because New York is super windy and one day is like 60, the next day is like 50 and then boom, wind. It's such a crazy weather. How's your weather out there? So you put that all over your lips and it keeps it nice and moistured. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight to my eyeshadow. Look at this, so nice. Green, because you know we gotta stick with that green theme with St. Patty's. Look at this brush. This is such an old brush. This is from Ipsy, long time ago, and it's still there. It's green, even the brush and the handle, everything is green. My nails, did you see that? It has green and gold, because you know St. Patty's has gold so i needed to incorporate that i'm so excited that i'm changing up uh, a few things on my channel i want to have everything i want to have beauty i want to have skincare i want to have eyeshadow looks but eyeshadow looks that are like for every day like oh you know somebody like me that is very light with makeup and other girls that could relate with me yeah let's talk about it because this is so much fun this has a lot of pigment a lot so of course the wind is really strong so you're going to hear it and you just play with it this is a little small so i think i'm gonna have to change this brush i don't know about this brush i think i'm gonna go with this one look how pretty this is you could use whatever brush you want for the crease uh garbage cans are flying do you girls hear that okay this is a nice grip all over your this is the my way and this eye patch helps because it doesn't help me go all over the place here because, you know, that happens. So I'm using this right here. Look. Look how much it picks up. I love Huda. So I just go all over. You apply your eyeshadow the way you feel comfortable with. We play around with these colors. So my girl, Lin Lin Beauty, she's all about that blending. You blend, blend, blend until your hand falls out. And I do see a difference. Ever since I started blending, obviously I'm not going to be blending through this whole video. I'm going to stop and I'll come back. But that base needs to be as blended as possible to look nice and flawless. Even if you're putting on a primer or concealer, 
whatever you're using. Sometimes I only use the same concealer I'm going to be using under my eye. I just put a little concealer on my uh, lids as well. They do get dry, so I like to put a little bit more moisture on my eyelids. Even though I am greasy combination, but my eyelids, they get dry. So, yeah, shout out to Lin Lin Beauty. She does inspire me. So this brush is made for crease. It does say here crease. I love it because you could hold just a tip so light and you just blend. Blend, blend away just for it to look like it's almost like your skin. Okay, so I'm going to go with the next because I think I already did enough blending. So there's three type of greens. This is the darker one here. This is like a turquoise. Then these two up here. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the lightest one first. I'm going to use my finger. Oh, these are really creamy. So, so creamy. And then I'm just going to go. Look how this one looks. Check out how flawless. Then I'm going to just dab that a little here. And then I'm going to blend. Okay, let's see. So as you could see, they are pretty chalky just because it is pastel. So pastel, I'm going to blend that. Blend, 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 blend. And I am going to use this smaller blending brush uh, until it just fades away. The pastel is a little bit more chalky, so I guess you have to just blend. And they are very light. They're very light. Look at the color. It's pretty. I like. So when I swatch it, that's how it looks. That's how it looks swatched. Super light. But on the crease, it disappears. So just give it like a nice blend. So I'm going to put a little bit more. Now I am hooded eye. So I like to blend up there as well. Just to give so it. So I'm blending the next eye. And just blend. I so enjoy. You know I feel like um, eyeshadow relaxes me. So I think I could do this like once a week. I am going to be doing another eyeshadow look. Um, at the ending of the month. It's a little surprise for my girls. It's a birthday surprise. Well, I guess it's not a surprise anymore, but you don't know what I'm going to be using. Yeah, to my girls' birthday, shout out. Terry's Corner and Jackie Natural. Their birthday is March. So I do want to uh, create a look dedicated to them. I mean, they do know that part, but I want to make it special. And I'm going to use special shades, special palettes. So, yeah, I just uh, gave you a hint. Okay, so this is the way it came out. It's really, really uh, blended well. Now I'm ready to choose an outer color that has to be a little darker. I don't know. You know what? Let's just go straight with this one. Let me show you that. It's like turquoise. Do you see that? This is so pretty. Okay, so let me just swatch it right there. It's a little, it's way darker. And it is chalky as well. But let's see. Let's see. So a little bit here and a little bit here. That's how I work it. And then I'm going to go a little bit more. It's going to look a little crazy. And then I'm going to blend away with my favorite, favorite brush. From Morphe, such a good blending brush. It's an M M433. I love it. So look, now I'm going to just go here and just blend away. Just blend as much as I can because I'm probably going to do a little bit more. I don't like it to be too dark. So I'm just going to blend away and then I'm going to add more. So I just want to blend this one. It does blend quick. Okay, so it's not really dark enough. It's very, very pastel. So I'm going to go to another palette. This one is Moods. I got this in the box from Fashionista. This one has a beautiful green. This green up here is like a green martini. Do you see it? Okay, you know what? Let me show you. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And let me see how it looks swatched right next to the other one. Okay, it's a little more, it's a little darker. So I think that's going to be perfect right there. Linden Beauty, Leslie, let me know how am I working this? This is so much fun, girls. Now I know why you enjoy this so, so much. I'm going to put this martini all over here at the outer corner and just start blending. Oh, I want to show you this um, 
it looks crazy i do like to go up by my crease by my um brow bone a little bit because I, like i said i am hooded so i'm gonna start blending out i want to show you this brush bath purifying cleansing i love it so this is what i do i normally just squirt a little bit on my brush and i use one of these i have a thousand of them this is a little dusty because it has a lot and i just clean it off and it dries so quick oh wow look at that green let's start blending okay so then i just clean it i want to blend it away and i will be back so i am working it blending it out because i do like it lighter but you can see it has a different type of green i think i like it once i put my mascara eyebrows makeup blush and all that i think it's gonna come out now i need to put the, the inner no the middle and then the inner so what do you girls think about this color? I think this martini is beautiful. So I just keep on blending a little bit more. I need to see that flawless look. Okay, so I'm going straight with the shimmer. I think I'm gonna go straight with, I don't know, I think this one. Okay, let me see, My anything available here? I think this one, I wanna use it. You really can't see. I think I wanna go like right here. <gasps> I like, I like for the middle middle to the inner right there it's going to be beautiful i am loving you know we're supposed to be using this pinky it's so uncomfortable uh let me use the finger that's easier this huh yes so i'm going to blend it all out put it together mascara all that inner corner blush bronzer and i will be back i think i picked a good color i think i didn't take these eye patches off girls let's talk about it i am so excited i created a look check it out it's smoky look at what i did here in the bottom i just used one of these brushes here because i seen my girl lin lin beauty do that and i just went ahead and did that do you know i used this eyeliner from nyx nyx it's turquoise, right? So I ended up putting it right there under my waterline. Then I put this one, this one right here, and I just smoked it out. <laughs> Give me credit. Give me credit, but I am loving it. Check out how it looks. I did my eyebrows with my regular, you know, everyday uh, Benefit Cosmetics. That's all I use. Then my favorite mascara of the month, no, for the past months, it's buxom. I love buxom. As you saw my uh, mascara collection, I am all about it. So I'm almost done with this and I'm going to continue a different one. So far, this is so good. It does give me like that uh, deep uh, mascara look. It does. It elongates it. I love it. Okay, so I did use the green right here, the olive green from my Moods palette. I blended it out there. And then from my inner corner, did you see? Not the inner corner, the middle corner. I ended up putting a little bit more glitter. So it has glitter. It just went on perfect. I don't know about an everyday look, but I love it. It does give me like a, a, a nice little, you know, smoky look. A little different. Not so natural. Not so much, but just perfect. Girls, talk to me down below. My lippy, I use this milk makeup for my lip. And my cheekbones, so good. It's like a nice powdery type of a blush, liquid from Milk. I love it. And I use that. And then I put a little bit of this Fenty, um, what is it? Fenty Glow. Just a little right there in the center, just to give it that little boom. I like it so for my highlight. Hold so up. The Moods palette does have a nice highlight right there. It has two highlights, and then the rest are all eyeshadow some matte some shimmer um i'm gonna use my nyx um highlighting inner brush just a little i like this highlight it does give it a nice bling and of course i gotta bling it out right here in the top so i am all done check out the bling the inner corner the brow bone right there that Moods palette has a nice, nice 
highlight. Now my lip liner, I use Huda Beauty. I use this a lot, Trophy Wife. I use it a lot to online, to line up my, um, my lips. And it just goes and I blend it really lightly with whatever lipstick I'm using for it not to look so much like a lip liner. As you see, I love it. Girls, talk to me about, do you want to see more eyeshadow looks? Uh, I know I'm not an expert, but I am getting so much I love about this. Girls down below have been telling me I should. Um, I think I am. I think I am at least twice a month. Definitely, that with so many eye palettes that I have, come on, I need to. So, yeah. Do you love? Do you like? What do I need practice on? Because, you know, practice does make perfect. Down below, let's chit chat about it. And thank you so much for being part of Love Your Skin, following me on Instagram, and just being amazing. Check this out. I'll see you in my next videos. Ciao.